What is up everybody, welcome back to another episode in our Minecraft Let's Build series world. And as you can see behind me, we have a brand new build I would love to show you guys. So I hope you stick around and enjoy the video. So before, like I just mentioned, we have a brand new build, and it is, yes, yes, it is a lighthouse. Uh, I kind of hinted to it the last couple episodes with the sheep over there. We had red and white sheep, and also a light gray one, so yeah, there is our lighthouse. Um, as you can see, there's a path leading up into it, and we will go in there in just a few minutes. But first, there's a few other things I have added to the world as well, including my failed attempt at a carrot farm to lure rabbits. Uh, yeah, and also George the Golem has escaped from his uh, cave confinement over there, and he's just, he loves the horses now, I don't get what's going on with him. But there's a few additions that we've done to the house, and also a couple other places, so we'll be showing that. And then we'll be doing the tour at the end of the lighthouse, and I think it turned out really well actually, so, for once. <laughs> so, we'll go ahead and check out the bedroom really quick. And one thing that I did do and did not do is fix this ugly ceiling right here, but one thing I did do... Let's go ahead and uh, I built an armor stand and this is where the other three are going to go. I'm going to have a leather, um, iron and then gold and then a diamond one. I'll probably never use these three. It'll just be cool to have in here just to kind of liven the room up a little bit. Uh, there is no new additions to the community area as of yet. I am staying in a hotel right now and the internet's very crappy. So I've had nobody on this world. It's just been me playing offline for a while. Uh, besides that, nothing else has changed in here yet. I do have some cool plans I'm wanting to do, but that'll be for a couple of videos in the future. I have also finally brought up the um, jukebox up here, and I brought all my discs up from the storage area and brought them in here. And I always put Cat in there because that's my favorite one. And also, I only have Music Disc 13 and Cat. Those are the only ones I've ever been able to find for some reason. I don't understand why. Uh, one thing that is really, 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 really freaking neat that I love so much that I did not plan on. Whenever this whole biome changed, it snows up here now. So whenever I look out here at night and it's snowing, this is the coolest view I've ever seen. It is so neat. Really cool. And uh, also, uh, we have extended off the path a little bit. We finally connected, we connected the love garden and we connected to the house over there, the first house. I'll be leading this path off to connect to the mushroom farm, which we'll probably be redoing here very soon because it just needs to be redone. I'm probably going to tear that up, sad to say I might put a statue there or something. Um, you can see the wooden stairs leading to the lighthouse and also uh, future innovations leading off towards the jungle. I'm hoping to build like a little tree house. Uh, area in the jungle out there and maybe have like a new treehouse headquarters out there So hopefully that will be coming up soon And let's see. Oh god. Oh, no I'll go stress again. All right. Sorry about that it took me like five minutes to get out of there That is a death trap. Let me tell you if you get underneath that it is so hard to swim back up because uh, I'm not even gonna explain it it just makes me mad just thinking about it. But over here, uh, we have finished up the kitchen pretty much as far as the exterior work. Finished putting in the windows. We'll go outside and check out this, but I got a whole bunch of quartz, and I'll show you guys why here in just a second. Uh, so we finished up the window. Hopefully next couple episodes we'll be having the wood put down in here. And then we should be rock. I've been looking at a couple ideas to do um, houses, or not houses, kitchens. So we'll be looking at those and kind of Trying to figure out those a little bit. Um, still ignore that. I haven't fixed that yet. And yeah, here's something else I've been working on. Well, trying to. You can see I still haven't finished it, but Xbox One, the full map is 5x5 five five regular maps. So I've been trying to go around, probably one per episode, I'll go around and find the other, you know, maps or something like that. So this is a project um, I've been working on. This was going to be all books, but I really wanted this in my map or my world. And uh, I thought it'd just be really cool to have, so I haven't f 
fin finish the picture frames, but this whole wall right here is going to be just one giant map. And yeah, so that's what all this is. It took me a while to figure out like how to make maps because I haven't done it here yet. Another thing that we've done is made this underground nether room. It's right below the stairs in the house. Uh, and yeah, so why I did this and why I have all these chests here just completely, completely packed um, is because we're getting ready to build in the nether a little bit. I really want to build a blaze farm. Uh, Mumbo Jumbo has a really, really neat uh, blaze farm idea. Because we always have trouble with our industrial furnace and stuff like that, getting enough coal and enough fuel to do it. So one thing I thought we could do is just go ahead and build a blaze farm. So the reason why I'm stacking up on all this stuff is because once we build that, I won't be able to ever reset the nether again. So now I'm trying to get as much as I possibly can in here. Um, so hopefully this will last us for a while until I can get some villagers and you know trade with them and do that. I know I'm probably just freaking out and panicking. But I probably want three or four full chests of quartz. And I know you can definitely trade villagers glowstone. But that's just a fear of mine. Because I really love quartz with this texture pack. So we'll be getting that going. I uh, think that is all I have to show you guys in here. I believe there's nothing new down in the mine. Um, I still have to finish up top. I just noticed that. And out here we have finally you know, put the pillar all the way down to the ground. So it looks a little bit more stable. I haven't finished the front with the stairs, the inverted stairs to make them look like columns. Um, so each episode we're going to do a little bit more to the house and, you know, hopefully get it finished up here pretty soon. So let's go ahead and go over to the iron farm. Now something I want to show you guys over there really quick. And uh, one thing that I've fixed, the uh, I've come to the conclusion that the sugarcane farm is broken. It's completely broken. But the droppers in my room, the droppers leading from my bedroom down to the mine, I was able to fix that. All I had to do was just re-lay down some uh, redstone, and it fixed itself. So, And as you can see, I'm a level 61, because that's just a lot of quartz mining that I've been doing a lot lately. So let's go ahead and go over here to the back, by the sheep and uh, cow stables. And then we will head to the back of the iron farm, where I've expanded out in the maintenance area a little bit. Uh, and I see another one got out. I think what they're doing is jumping on top of each other and then jumping out. So that's always good. Another thing that's gone wrong in my world is I can't breed animals anymore. It says I've reached the maximum. And watch me be able to do it. Yep, see. So I can't breed animals anymore. I don't know how to fix that. It kind of sucks. I'm sorry for the screen looking like that. So I can't do that anymore. Um... I'm just getting ready to build a cocoa bean farm right here. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. I'm probably going to do like a house and the basement's going to be the actual cocoa bean area. And I'm going to try making it as automated as I can. There's just, it's going to be kind of hard. I've seen ways to do it with water and I've seen ways to do it with pistons. So I'm trying to figure that out. So we did have an iron storage room. And now we have a rose storage room. Because the chest out there was getting really, really, really filled up. So this, it isn't complete, still needs some more chests and stuff, but we're getting there. We don't get as much iron. I mean, we don't get as much roses as we do iron, but I just needed that. You never know in the future when I might build a whole project of nothing but red wool and, you know, so you never know. We still have some stuff in here. I have some iron in there. So that is going good. Nothing has changed over here. Uh, I've noticed the golems have stopped spawning underneath these... Uh, spawn pods so hopefully that's fixed one thing I really need to do is fix this I've never finished laying down the wow there's a lot I still need to do guys there's a lot I need to do I need to tear this path out or make it go that way or something I need to do something with that and our sugarcane farm is broken I need to redo the redstone. All the redstone wiring is in this side over here. So I need to redo that and get that fixed. So now let's go ahead and head over to the lighthouse really quick. And I will show you guys that. I think it's I think it's actually about to go nighttime. About to go nighttime. So I'll go I'll run up to the top really quick and I will show you guys what this looks like at night all lit up nice and pretty. And the new paths that we put in, I've finished the redstone and these new paths. I haven't got to the ones, 
I haven't got to that one yet. But I did finish up this one leading all the way over there. So we'll go ahead and wait till nighttime and I will show you guys what that looks like. That never gets old. I really like that. Uh, what kind of sucks is because of the clouds. I usually turn the clouds off, especially when I was building it. But you can't see the top because this is actually taller than the clouds. So, But yeah, I really like this. I haven't finished that little thing right there. Uh, you can kind of still see some redstone lamps right there. But I, I really like what we did with that as far as the whole lighting for this whole map right here. And each different area is going to be different. Like whenever we do our Greek area, it's probably going to be more torches because they didn't have electricity and stuff back then so it's gonna be a little bit more uh a little bit more rustic i guess you'd say and i have a really i have a lot of ideas i want to do like with the tree houses i want to do a lake town over there in the swamp so we got a lot of cool things in the works right now and there's george he's been here for a while next episode we're going to be uh building a storage area for these finally and probably giving these a facelift because at the time i just went ahead and built them i wasn't thinking about how good they look i just really needed the supplies so, and the cow farm is pretty much useless now because I can't even breed cows anymore, which kind of sucks. So this actually took a long time to make, especially the redstone stuff and planning out everything. So here's our love garden, and for this episode, we're going to go ahead and introduce Mr. Herbie Hind to the love garden. So thank you so much. I think he commented on the last video, or actually might have been the uh, wheat farm, and uh, he said how much it really helped him out with his world. So I'm glad it helps and welcome to the garden. And here is, I don't know if I showed this or not yet, but anyway, here is what it looks like now. This is going to be a bridge and here is the entrance to our old house, our first ugly house <laughs> right there. And this is for future renovations. This is going to go to the jungle area. This path is. And to get to the tree house right now, you have to cross through the love garden and turn out the back I haven't finished this but then you go up this you can see where I kind of started putting the fencing up to get that finished up to make it look a little bit supported I wanted to go for that old stair look it kind of worked I guess so let's go in here and check this out and as you can imagine this took a long time to build especially on survival it really 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 sucked and we still have a bunch of supplies in here that I used that's where all my iron went and let's go ahead and take all this stuff because I'll definitely forget about it until I shove this off again in the future um, I don't know what I'm gonna do in here uh, a couple friends want this to be their little house to stay in here so I might like coming off these different levels let's go ahead and walk up there coming off the different levels I might put like a bedroom like or something here this might even be our hotel that's not a bad idea. I need to write that down. But it's a really long way up. It took a long time. It took me a long time to figure out what I wanted to do. So I ended up just going with the tree in the middle and doing this. But once you get up to the top, you have this crazy, crazy view. And it's even taller than the towers over there. But it is... I loved it. I loved how it turned out. I've never built a lighthouse before. And I'm really glad we did. And it's... It's just neat. I've always wanted one. So up at the top, uh, this is a mess. A lot of you read some guys are going to scream at me for this. Up at the top, it's a mess. I wanted to do the rotating uh, light up here. But that didn't happen because my world's already laggy enough in this area. So I just went ahead and put the daylight sensor in here to turn it off during the day and on during the nighttime. And I've had a lot of bugs I had to work out of it because... I just had it leading to this to invert it because for some reason daylight sensors they activate during the day I guess that makes sense but so I, I was getting snow snow would go right here on top of this block and that would cut off this line for some reason at night so I had to put this half slab here and that seemed to fix everything so the redstone's a mess it is a hot mess but it worked out I guess yeah <laughs> so next episode guys we are probably going to be doing uh, some work in the mine. I want to get that all finished up and finish the renovations in there. And probably when we do, it's going to be 100% done. We're probably going to have the industrial furnace complete in there as well. Uh, and then the following episode, we're going to be building the hopefully the blaze farm and getting that going. So, 
I'm really excited. I'm not sure when we're going to be building the treehouse area yet. We'll still be doing updates and stuff in this world as far as above ground next couple episodes and getting things straightened up and looking good. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching uh, and returning back to the series. It's been really cool. I'm really excited about everything that we're going to be doing here soon. We're getting close to episode 25. Uh, then we will be doing the world tour of what we have so far. The stories behind some of the things that we have in this world. And also our Funland Unveil. And I have a lot of cool things going for that. I've actually started building it. So if sometimes we don't seem like we have a lot of stuff going on in episodes. It's because I've been spending a lot of time working on that. So uh, just bear with me. Episode 25 is going to be amazing. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be something you tell your kids about forever. So thank you guys for watching so much. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys love the lighthouse we have back there. It was a pain to build, but I think it turned out really well. So thank you guys for watching so much, and I will see you on the next one.